I'm here at the Divertimenti and Daunt Books Culinary Salon, and it's my pleasure to welcome Chantelle Cody. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure, too. And I have to show this book because it's the most gorgeous thing. It is truly like a box of chocolates. I mean, you lift this top off. Here's the box. And then here's the book inside. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. That was the brief. Now, but the thing about it that I love so much is it's not a coffee table book. I mean, it is absolutely chock full of information about how to cook with chocolate, how to work with it, what to look for, but in a very easy to understand way. And I, that's got to be a very difficult balance to get right, but you really did with this. Well, I just asked myself what, if I was getting a book on chocolate, what would I want to know about it? So I kind of ask people questions, what do you want to know? In fact, I tweeted and people would say, I want to know about tempering, I want to know about how to make a ganache, I need to know, you know, some good chocolate mousse recipes. So hopefully we've covered all the bases there. Oh, absolutely. And I think what's so lovely, it's like your shops, is it's such a visual experience. And I remember walking into Rococo for the first time, the one on King's Road, and the whole the whole ambiance was so beautiful that it was a it was a multi-sensory experience and you, you capture that in book form as well well that's what we we're trying to do because I mean it's very emotional isn't it chocolate yes. and you need to make people feel relaxed and happy um, and at home when they come into our environments and when same with the book you tell some wonderful stories and I was just reading it you know the rap but I loved you know when you were working in Herod's and how you know that is a job kind of was a bit of a springboard into going, no, I want to do it this way. Yeah. And there's a better way to do it. I it, was, it was. It was a light bulb moment. And, you know, I suppose sometimes you have to have these crazy ideas, but I can do it differently. And the more people tried to persuade me that I was mad, the more I was determined to do it. And after having worked in chocolate for all these years, do you still find it as engaging and as exciting as you did when you first started? In fact, even more, because I've got under the surface now, and we've got deep relationships with cocoa farms in Grenada, with, you know, we're making so much more of our own chocolate. It's, the whole chocolate world has changed beyond belief in that time. You know, 30 years ago, we're talking about the chocolate dark ages, and this is the, you know, the revolution now, so. It's amazing because when you think about it, there's almost kind of a bit of alchemy, but also science as far as dealing with it. And it really brings those things together in quite a magical way, you know, to create what we, what we enjoy and savor and that, you know, makes you smile. Mm, absolutely. And tell me a little bit about the work that you're doing because you are quite concerned with where we're getting our chocolate from and making sure that that supply is secure and you've been doing a lot of a lot of work in that direction haven't you we have i mean we have a little joint venture in grenada with the grenada chocolate company and that's all about reversing the normal model of cocoa growing so not only are they growing cocoa but they're actually making chocolate on the island and they say and it's true it takes a whole village to make a bar of chocolate and those bars of chocolate leave the island as complete bars with all the value added right there in Grenada. Amazing. So it is amazing I and mean, it's a fantastic example. We're very, very proud to be a part of that. And you've done so much with shops and books and classes and all kinds of things. What should we be looking for in the future from you? Oh, What's gosh. next on your, on your chocolate plate? Mm. <laughs> 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 or do we need to just stay tuned? Well, I think so, yes. Stay tuned. Yeah, I've got my Twitter and we've got our blog, so you can sign up for them and so we'll be the get first the to latest, know. hottest news. Fabulous, we will do that. Chantal Cody, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And for helping to celebrate Divertimenti's 50th. Well, thanks. thanks. And happy birthday. Thank you.